Hello, welcome back everyone to the third video of the Kotlin Flows playlist and in this video we will see flow operators, mainly four of the most common used ones, which are filter and map and flat map latest and flat map concat. So let's first get started with filter. But for that I'll first create a flow, which is just a function to get that flow. So get let's say flow or just name it flow for example. And it is a function that returns a flow of type let's say string and then this of course will return a flow like this or to make things simple we can just say it is equal to a flow and then inside here I'm going to create let's say a counter so a counter that is starting from one and then I actually want to have this counter outside the flow function like this and then I'm going to emit, let's say this is counter, like this. And then I'll put a delay of one second and I increase my counter. Uh, it should be a var, not var, like that. And actually I'm going to emit four or five different emissions here. So I just copy this one. And every time I, I increase the value of counter. But you may say, why well, just not using a repeat block? Because I'm going to change now this text here. So I'm going to say that. And here as well, that. So when I filter, I, for example, want to get only the emissions that include this and don't include that. So I filter, I filter them to get the values that I want. And that I ignore the ones that I don't need. And now let's actually collect this flow. I'm going to use a run blocking block to collect that flow. So run blocking, and then I'm just going to say uh, flow dot, of course, collect. And then I'm just going to print what I've collected. So log D, and I'm going to use the tag like this. And of course, if I run the app, then I'm just going to get this value of counter increasing until four, I guess. So let's run this app and see how that works. What's going to happen? So one, two, three, four, yes, until four. That's it. Now, if I want to filter this flow, if I want to filter the emissions I get, let's say I only want the ones with the word this and the ones with the word that, I don't want them, I will ignore them. I can, before collecting here, I can now apply my operators and the one I'm going to apply is a filter operator and I'm just going to say if it, it is just like the emission contains this. So this needs to return a boolean. And when the boolean is true, we actually keep that emission. And when it's false, we ignore that. So we only get the ones with this. And now let's run the app again and see. So this one, this is three. So ignored, completely ignored that is and that is. As you can see so this is for filtering and the next one is mapping so map like this and map just means you map your emission to another value so now if I don't want to filter well, let's skip the filtering one and I just say now the, uh, it like this and I say new for example so I map it to a new value which is this and now if I run the app This is one new and this is three new. And of course, if you want to, to return integers here from your flow, you can just say, for example, it plus three or two to just add a new value to that or something. And of course, this mapping gets what we get from this filter. So the ones with that, we ignore them. So we, they don't get here anymore because that's it. We removed them from here because we filtered our emissions. And if we don't filter actually, we will map all the values, even with those with that, like this. So we added now two to each one like this. So this is here for uh, filter and map, which are the ones that I use mostly. And now the other uh, operator I want to show you is flat concat. For that, I'd rather create a different example so we can understand it well. And I'm just going to remove this. And then say my flow returns an integer here. And I will have a repeat block. Repeat, so let's say five times because now I don't want to. Like this. And uh, 
I just emit basically. That's all I'm going to do. I don't want any delay or anything. So I emit it. That's that. I emit the number. So starting from one until five, I guess. And now right here, we want to print our say counter, for example. Counter is it like that. And then instead of mapping right here, I'm going to say dot flat map contact this one. Basically, we have actually a different ones. So we say flat map, we have flat map latest, which is another one I'm going to explain and map, flat map contact We also have flat map merge, but it's actually recommended to not use this one often. That's why in the, actually I've never used it. So I guess these are the most important two ones flat map latest and flat map concat. If you need to use this one, you can just check it out on the internet, but it's really not that important. So flat map for now concat. And what flat map contact does is actually flatten the emissions of a flow to another flow. So let's say now we get these emissions from this flow. Now we want to flatten them to uh, the emissions of another flow. And that's exactly what we are going to do right here. So we're going to create a flow. Now put a delay here. Let's say for a second. And then I want to now make an uh, emission in my new flow, which is, let's say, it times 10, for example. And now what's going to happen is that I will get an emission from it. And at first it is 1. So starting from 1, I will get it right here. So to make things more obvious, you just say counter here. Like this and actually in all the uh, in this one as well in collect and like that and here as well just make things more obvious so we get the counter which is exactly what we get from this flow and then I put a delay here to just see what's going on and then I actually map that uh, emission to, to another emission of this new flow so I just say times 10 and now let's run the app and see how that works So at first we emit zero right here, so it's not it's not one, but it, we emit zero, and then we get that zero right here, and then we map that to our new flows emission, and then we say counter times ten, and that's zero times ten is a zero, so we emit zero, and then we get we get that right here, and then next time we emit one, and we get we get it right here as well, and so one times ten is uh, is ten, and that's ten, and then that's the same for two, three, four. So we just flattened the elements of this flow to another flow, which is this one we created right here. That's why we use flat concat. And not the other one is flat map latest, this one. And this one actually does the same, but this one actually gives me the latest emission. So in flat concat, this one I actually gets all the values. So, so I emitted all of these at one time, or emitted very quickly, so we didn't layer anything, but then this one now flattened these one by one. So all of them, and then sent them to this collect function to collect them and then print them right here but flat map latest this one now won't actually flatten all the values but in fact it will only give me the latest one so let's say now we mapped zero as a starting point so we get zero right here we wait for a second and while we are waiting we actually also emitted one in here so now the latest version or the latest uh, emission is one so we completely cancelled the first one which was zero and so let's see what's going on here and actually what we are going to print at the end is just the very latest one in this case will be 15 so let's wait now actually 14 because we start we started from zero to four that's five times not 50 uh, because we don't start from one but anyway that's the same thing the last emission is four and four times 10 is 40 because what's going on right here is we first emitted zero and uh, we got here, we waited for one second, and while we are waiting, this flow already emitted one. And then we get one here, we cancel zero, the previous one, because now one is the latest, and now we want to wait for another second, uh, for a second again. And then while we are waiting, this one emitted two, and then we canceled one, because two is latest, and it goes like that until we get to the very latest one, which is four. We times that by 10, and so we get 40 and that's exactly what we print. That's why we use flat map latest. 
Uh, I know it might be complex, but hopefully I explained this in a very simple way to, for you to understand this. And if I actually want to also show you what happened before so you can understand, flap map contact, I mean concat, I'm sorry. And I run this because now I'm not going to delete or clear the log cat. So let's wait 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. And now immediately I'm going to use flat map latest right here and run the app again for you to see what's going to happen. I immediately only get 40. I ignored all the other ones. So right here, I didn't ignore them because this one, flat map contact, will wait for each one and then emits it. Now, flat map latest won't wait, but it's only going to give me the latest one and it will cancel any previous ones. So this is it for flat map latest and flat map contact. And also this is it for this video. And the next video we will we'll get to see collect latest because now I'm using collect. The next video I will explain collect latest. So see you in that video and bye.